at the Santa Fe Southside Farmers Market on a stormy but lovely September afternoon. Fall is a great time to check out your local farmers market because fruits and vegetables are at their peak. And when produce is plentiful, prices are at their best as well. Cooking fresh from the farmers market doesn't have to be expensive. With a little planning, you can fit it into your family food budget. And buying fresh from farmers who grew the product themselves means you're getting the freshest, tastiest food available. Farmers live nearby and they pick the produce when it's ripe, usually within 24 hours of your visit. And taking a visit to the farmer's market can be a fun family outing, a great way to get your kids involved in choosing, cooking, and eating healthy fruits and vegetables. Depending upon where you live in New Mexico, harvest times for different crops can vary. So the best way to know what's available is to just go to your farmer's market and check it out. But a lot of markets also have information booths where you can sign up to get weekly reminders about what's in season. And it's a great way to stay connected with your local market. Cooking fresh at home is healthier and almost always less expensive than eating pre-prepared foods or eating out. So let's take a look around the market, see what's available, and see how we can use those beautiful fruits and vegetables to make quick, healthy, and delicious meals your whole family will enjoy. One of the ingredients we're going to be using in a couple of our dishes is eggplant. There's a number of different kinds of eggplant. This long skinny one is called a Japanese eggplant and we'll be using that in our stir fry. This one's going to be a little bit more tender, it's going to cook a little bit more quickly. Then there's also the Italian eggplant which is going to be big and round, it's great for slicing and throwing on the grill. We're going to be using it in our garden vegetable tomato sauce. Sometimes you'll see eggplant that don't look anything like eggplant. They might be white, they might be stripy, so um, it just makes it more fun to experiment with different varieties. Sometimes people get a little bit confused about the pricing at farmers markets. Some farmers have a nice sign that shows you the prices of everything. Other farmers have each item individually labeled. And if they don't, don't feel shy about asking the price. So another important ingredient that we're going to use is summer squash. There's a lot of different kinds of summer squash and you can put it into almost anything. This stand has lots of great different kinds, different sizes, different colors, but they all pretty much cook the same. Sometimes the smaller ones are a bit more tender and are better for certain uses. Eh, hoy estamos comprando unos cherry tomatoes. Uh -huh. um, estos me gustan así nada más para snack o para ensaladas. Ah, sí. ¿Y las niñas le gustan también? Les encantan. Ah, sí, sí. qué bueno. Eso es una merenda muy saludable, sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Y lo está comprando con su cheque de WIC, ¿verdad? Sí. Qué bueno. Esos parecen más o menos normal, ¿verdad? Sí. ¿Y por qué estos parecen un poco diferente? This is the seed of heirloom, because it's more sweet. Ah, more sweet. Yes, these are more sweet. I have to cut the plant because I have to cut the plant because it grows like this size. Ah, very big. I have to cut like four trees around so that it can sustain the plant and not fall down. Ah, wow. Porque son muy grandes muy también la fruta. Es más difícil uh, cultivar estos. Ah, sí. Ah, sí. Pero más, más dulce y por eso vale la pena, ¿verdad? Sí. ¿Tiene un nombre este tipo? Este es German Stripe y este es Brandywine. Ok, muy bueno. Perfecto. Yes. Muchas gracias. Shopping at the farmer's market is a little bit different than shopping at the regular grocery store. You don't have a push cart, you buy things from different farmers rather than checking it all out at the end. But having a nice good basket that you can hold at your elbow or some reusable bags helps a lot. Most of what we're buying today is vegetables to make our meals, but farmer's markets also have great fruit. You'll see we've got some great peaches here, three different varieties of apples, and when you taste them, you'll see what a difference in flavor they have from the apples that you'd get at the supermarket.
was a fun and easy trip to the market. We got all kinds of great stuff and pretty much everything we were looking for. Sometimes when you go to the market, you're missing one or two of the things that you were hoping for, but you can always adjust your recipes to account for that, or you can supplement at the regular grocery store. So let's take all this great produce home and make some delicious meals.